So handlebar relocators. This is the install video for this product to help you move the handlebars further forward on the turn plate. So I'm Chris Hagas, we're at Pro Watercraft Racing and let's get into this one. Okay, so this is a look at what comes in this kit. These are the two relocator brackets. This is your new crossbar support pad, some hardware and some Loctite we suggest. So on the tools, we have a zip tie cutter. Uh, we got a couple Allens here and then a 12 millimeter socket wrench. So this is everything you're gonna need and now I'm gonna show you how to install it. So here's how we're gonna do this. Handle pull pad comes off. Uh, you're gonna have to take off the handle bar clamps and uh, if you got any zip ties or whatever, we're gonna get those out of the way and then we'll be able to move forward to the next step. Okay. Okay, in this uh, cost-effective kit, we are we have two different sides here, right? This is notched out side that you see right here. This is intended for the throttle cable. The other side has no issue. So, if this does change in the future where you have two notched out sides, no big deal. Just if you get one in the kit, be sure to put it on the throttle cable side. So you can see how these sit right on these, right in place. And then we're gonna supply some hardware. You wanna put Loctite on all this stuff. We're just gonna dry fit it right now. Okay, here's your stock clamps. Now, we're not gonna use this rear bolt. You're gonna keep your front bolt. And of course, again, Loctite on everything when you go for your final install. That goes to the same for both sides, right? The front bolt is gonna be your OEM, your original bolt that you're gonna reuse. And then in the kit, we have some longer hardware. Now, why are we giving you buttons when you had hex? You know, we're, we're just trying to give you soft, rounded stuff. This is in the handlebar area. We're trying to make everything flush and clean as possible. The hardware doesn't match, but you can go and buy different button head bolts for the front if you want everything to match. This is just a cost-effective way of going about moving your handlebars forward an inch and a half. Did I tell you that? An inch and a half further forward. So it's a big jump. It's almost like an OVP feel. So I'm loosening this bolt because maybe I need to wiggle this around so this gets in. I got everything kind of a little bit loose, not tight. I'm going to start with this front bolt and I want to get this pinch bolt somewhat snug. You're going to see that the gap on the front of the clamp is going to be tighter than the gap on the back. This is the way it's designed. I'm not going to tighten them, I'm just going to kind of snug them up. Now I'm going to come back to the provided button head and I'm going to tighten it up. I'm actually going to Put some torque on it. Okay, now we'll go back to the last bolt here.
Okay, so we got our handlebars in place. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, how does the crossbar pad work? Well, we provide a, a little bit longer pole to go in between. So you're gonna use your original hardware. Okay, and then most of these crossbar pads have a little slit in them, right? So this is one we provide, you can order this on our website, but they have a little slit in them with the foam pad in there. That's where this bar is gonna rest. So I'm gonna push this thing through, and then I'm gonna push it into that slotted area there. And then, you know, I'll position my bar pad so we can see the logo. And then we're gonna come in and re-tighten up Put the other bolts in. And so the crossbar pad is kind of intended to sit on top of the new locators, to kind of give you a chance to protect yourself and your face or your body from hitting the, the bar clamps, kind of like the OEM little pad was there. So I'm just gonna go through and maybe double check all my hardware. Again, Loctite everything on your final install. We provide some Loctite in this kit, but you can definitely use your own Loctite. Any sort of Loctite is better than no Loctite. That's pretty much it. From there, I just put on the handle pull pad and that is the install. Uh, honestly, I, this is a must have, right? Because the stock Yamaha turn plate, it's quite long. It's much longer than any other watercraft. The, and what do, I, what do I mean by long? It's where the pivot point is to where the bars swing, right? This distance is quite a bit more than any other stand up or even runabout or sport on the market. Um, and so this relocator actually pushes the handlebars an inch and a half further closer to the pivot. It gives you a, a more turning or, or a more natural kind of turn plate feel. It almost feels like an over the pivot kind of, um, kind of action. Uh, what does it do for the handling? And so the handling you get, especially in this watercraft, it feels a little lethargic. It feels like you really have to put a little bar input into this watercraft, especially. This handlebar corrects that, right? It really helps the, the ski turn. It, it kind of balances out your body English to the skis turning. So this is a must have out item for me. You know, it really kind of makes things feel more natural. And that's kind of what you're looking for when you want to get comfort on your watercraft. And so this cost effective option is uh, will bolt on with all your stock parts, will work with your stock turn cable. You don't have to do any turn uh, or any uh, steering cable adjustments. Uh, uh, it, it's not going to work with your stock handlebars, but however, you're going to be changing the handlebars and putting a different crossbar pad on. So this package right here is definitely, like I said, it's a must have. So that's pretty much it. It's really simple. I say that all the time, but it really is, you know, like it took me a few minutes to unbolt and rebolt this up. You know, if you're to, to complete this package, if you don't have handlebars and you don't have grips, all these items we have at ProWaterCraftRacing.com. And if you want to subscribe or not, or like the video or the channel, please do so because you're going to see more content like this in the near future.